hey how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize battlefield 6 for maximum performance fix lags drops and stutter because in this video i'm going to be going through the best windows and the game settings to fix all of the issues make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said let's get started with the intro Step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings onto your PC and once you're over here come down to personalization then click on colors and over here you have to disable transparency effects this will disable windows and surfaces to appear translucent and give this an opaque look once that is done head over to gaming head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off game bar turned off will help you to reduce the overlay service running on the background and it will help you to optimize your FPS. After that, go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. It will help you to optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background, allowing you to get extra FPS. Then click on the graphic settings underneath and you need to enable optimizations for windowed mode. This will help you to get reduced input latency and then click on advanced graphic settings and then change your default high performance GPU to your native graphic card. Make sure that this is not your CPU based graphics, but rather your hardware based graphics. After that, click on the add desktop app button over here and go to the download location of your game. For me, it would be under Steam library. You have to head over to common and then you have to find where you have saved Battlefield 6. It would be under Glacier Events. You have to select the BF6 event over here and then click on the add button. Once that is added, you have to select that and change your GPU preference to high performance. Once that is done, you have to simply close your settings. Next step would be compatibility settings and for that head over to Steam onto your PC. Right click on your game and then click on manage. Select browse local files over here and then you have to select bf6event.exe. Click on its properties. And over here, head over to compatibility. Select disable full screen optimizations over here and click on change high DPI settings. Then select override high DPI scaling behavior. Click on OK and apply. See if this helps you to get extra FPS. Before moving ahead, I want to introduce you guys to Aesis Partition Master because Battlefield 6 is a really huge game and it consumes a lot of your disk resources. Aesis Partition Master is the best choice to manage it. You guys can download it for free and it offers a ton of features. Over here, once it opens up, you guys can see a partition manager where you guys can see both of your disks which you have installed on your PC. One of which is 1.8 TB and the other one is about 1 TB. You guys can manage your disk easily. Simply select that and now you guys can clone it, delete it, wipe it and that is not all. The partition master also allows you to make partitions between your disk. Say for example, I want to divide my E drive to two partitions. So I can simply resize and move it and I can make it shorter. This will allow me to make a new disk of about 323 gigabytes. Simply click on OK and now you have unallocated space. Simply click on the create button and now you guys can name it something and set the size. Set your drive letter and change the file type. I would recommend going with NTFS. Click on OK and now you guys can allocate this segment only for your games. Simply click on execute task and it will perform the task. Other than that, it also offers you to migrate your OS, clone your OS disk, clone data disk or clone your partition from one to another in case you are planning to move from a hard disk drive to an SSD. When you have a disk converter, where you can convert your disk type and if you guys have lost a partition or you might have formatted it, you guys can recover it if that is possible. It is also useful if you want to use a bootable media, that means you can create a bootable pen drive or an ISO disk over here to install Windows on another PC. And it offers a useful toolkit where you guys can perform multiple tasks. Once again, Aesis Partition Master has a lot to offer and you guys can check it out for yourself by downloading Aesis Partition Master for absolutely free from the link in the description below. Next step is disabling background applications and for that simply search for local group policy editor. Select edit group policy. Make sure that this step will only be available for Windows Pro users. Select computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, app privacy and right over here you'll find let Windows apps run in the background. Double click to open this up and make sure that this is set to enable. Then default for all applications should be set to force deny. Click on the apply button and this will ensure that all of the applications would be turned off for running in the background. This policy would be enforced on your PC. Click on the close button and close it. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC. Select your local disk C and click on the create button. Name it BF6 just so you can remember it and press enter. This will create a restore point on your PC. 
just in case you want to revert anything back again to normal. Once that is done, close it and close system properties. Next step would be Battlefield 6 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can find in 7 very simple and useful folders over here. This is really mandatory, so follow this. First things first, head over to CPU priority and in here you'll find AMD and Intel CPU priorities. If you have an AMD CPU like me, you can double click and apply the AMD CPU priority. And if you guys have an Intel CPU, you can double click and apply the Intel CPU priority. Second folder is BF6 priority which is Battlefield 6. You will have above normal, high priority and normal priority. This will help you to optimize the performance of your game. Once again, I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose over here. Third folder is RAM optimization in which I have left all of these presets over here. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to apply this registry. Could be different for you so you can apply it according to your PC and once again if that doesn't work out well, you can always reset it back to default. Fourth one over here is power plan settings in which I have left import ultimate performance power plan. This is a really powerful tool. Right click on it and run it as administrator. This will run a command prompt on your PC and after that double click on power plans and head over to select ultimate performance in this list. Once again, if you cannot find it, select show additional plans and then select ultimate performance over here. This will disable all kind of power saving features on your PC, allowing your hardware to consume maximum power. Now note that this might result in overheating if you're using a laptop. Fifth folder over here is disabling unwanted services in which I have left all of these services which are absolutely useless and in most cases, you're not even using them. Once again, if you use any Bluetooth or printer services, leave these two services and disable every single one of them and it will help you to optimize your performance drastically. Once again, if that doesn't work out well for you or you might have disabled anything wrong, you can head over to the revert registries folder and turn them back on again. Sixth folder over here is latency tweaks in which I have left disable memory compression and latency tweaks over here. Both of them will help you to perform essential tasks on your PC. You can edit them in notepad to see what they are exactly changing. Now this will disable MM agent and memory compression from your PC. Simply right click and run this as administrator. Memory compression is not an essential service and you can disable that safely. Second one is latency tweaks which helps you to run these commands which are Disable dynamic tick, high precision event timer and synthetic timers which are known to add input latency if you are playing your games. Once that is done, head back and the last one is programs folder in which I have left two very simple programs. First one is clean temporary files, you wanna have to right click and run it as administrator. This will open up a command prompt which will help you to delete all temporary files and prefetch files right off your PC. Press enter and once that is done, simply close it. Second one is MSI mode utility 3.0, simply right click and run it as administrator. This tool helps you to optimize the performance of your graphic card. Over here, you have to find your graphic card and select the MSI button next to it. For the interrupt priority, set from undefined to high and click on apply button. This will help you to set up the correct interrupt priority for your graphic card, allowing it to handle more interrupts without overclocking it. Once that is done, simply close it. And now you can also close your FPS pack. Next step is msconfig and for that press windows and R key together and then type in msconfig over here. Press enter and this will open up system configuration. Head over to the boot section and click on advanced option. Click on number of processor and choose the maximum number of processor available over here in this list. Click on the OK button to set it and select no GUI boot. Click on the apply button and this will help you a lot. After that, head over to the services tab and select hide all Microsoft services. This will hide all of the necessary service and now you guys can disable all of the unwanted services over here. Some services might include your browser update services, game update service and even RGB and fan control services. You can only run them when you need them. Make sure not to disable any core services like VGC or anti-easy cheat because this might cause launching issues in the game. Once that is done, click on the OK button and click on exit without restart. Next step is a disabling sysmain and for that press windows and R key together and this time type in services.msc. Press enter and this will open up services on your PC. Now select anywhere and type in S. Over here you have to find sysmain, right click on that and head over to its properties. Set the startup type to disabled because sysmain is a service which is absolutely useless in most cases. Many of the times your PC do not even use it but it consumes almost 20% of your CPU. In multiple cases I have found that. Now. If the status is running, simply press stop, click on apply, restart your PC once and see if that impacts anything. Once that is done, you may now drop into the game with the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, head over to the settings gear and now you have to head over to the graphic settings. For the preset, I have gone with balanced but it will soon change to custom. Change your graphic quality to low and then for your graphics, head over to custom. You guys can see that it is automatically setting everything to low but we do not want that. So head over to custom and now you have to change it. 
For the texture quality, you can go with high. Texture filtering, you guys can go with low. Mesh quality, go with medium. Terrain quality, you guys can go with medium or low. Both of them works absolutely fine. For the undergrowth quality, go with low. Effects quality, low. Volumetric quality, set this thing all the way to low. Lighting quality, once again, set this thing to low. Local light and shadow quality, low. Sun shadow quality, low. Shadow filtering, PCF. Reflection quality, go with low. Then you have screen space reflections, go with off. Post process quality, low. AO and GI, you wanna have to go to SSGI low and high fidelity object amount you guys can go with low now come down to the camera settings and for the fov you guys can go with 90 it is the default value setting this thing to low will always increase your fps weapon field of view go with wide world motion blur go with zero weapon motion blur go with zero and then camera shake amount you guys can go with 20. chromatic aberration vignette and filmic grain all three of them does not really impact your fps a lot they are actually for visuals for the display go for the full screen mode to borderless your monitor and your native resolution vsync should be turned off because it limits your fps then you guys can set your interface in hud by yourself and once all of that is done you guys can now press escape and drop into the game with the highest fps possible so guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button. We are really close to 250,000 subscribers and I really appreciate your support. We'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.